Hi kids, it's been a while. I haven't read a story in a little bit. Um, I just got a new batch of stories from Sawyer and Adelaide. And this is the first one I wanted to read, which is called, Even Superheroes Have Bad Days. And this book is by Shelley Becker and it's illustrated by Ida Caban. Even superheroes have bad days. And these are some superheroes here. We got Beastie, Zing, Thrash, and Laser Man. Those are some new superheroes for me. Let's see. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, and when they have a bad day, They could use superpowers to kick, punch, and pound. They could shriek. They could screech with an ear-piercing sound. <clears throat> they could crush wooden crates and bend metal gates. They could throw trucks and buses across several states. Yes, they could. Look at that. They could knock over buildings like towers of blocks and crumble the streets into rubble and rocks. They could use laser eyes to ignite forest fires or fling boomerangs to deflate the town's tires. But upset superheroes have all sorts of choices. Instead of destruction and loud, livid voices, they burn angry steam off with speed of light hiking or super extreme out, outer space mountain biking. That looks fun. They race to the rescue of people in need and delight in the joy of a super good deed. They hatch super plans to help banish world sadness and building fabulous theme parks for giggles and gladness. This looks like one of those theme parks to me. They chase wanted bad guys with supercharged zing, dragging hundreds to jail while police dance and sing. There they go, dragging those bad guys. They track down and tame super menacing beasts and transform pity parties into victory feasts. Pity parties are not very fun parties. But displeased superheroes who don't feel serene could have super temptation to cause a bad scene. Looks like he's losing his temper in traffic there. They could blast icy blizzards on hot afternoons or walloping twisters and monster typhoons. They could spin super webs, super far, super sticky, and tangle up towns with their silk, super icky. They could rotate the planet and mess up world time, or sit back and relax while the world fills with crime. When superheroes don't get their way, when they're sad, when they're mad, when they've had a bad day, they could super rampage, they could, but they don't. Because real superheroes just wouldn't, they won't. Instead, they dig down to their super best part, the strong superpowers contained in their heart 
and using their talents as true heroes should, they battled the urge to do harm, though they could. They acknowledge their sorrow, their anger, their pain, as they wait for their super emotions to wane. They're meditating. It's okay if they frown. It's okay if they sigh. It's even okay if they slump down and cry. But when they get up and get on with their day, saving the world in their most super way. Looks like they're having a campfire and roasting some marshmallows. That looks like fun to me. And here's some more superheroes. Magnifique, Screecher, Typhoon, and Icky. There they are. So that's the end of that story. Thanks for listening. Nighty night.